The Republican presidential campaign inspired a leading Nevada brothel to express its admiration for Newt Gingrich, the only candidate who's actually admitted to marital infidelity. He's a cheater, and we like cheaters, said Dennis Hoff, the owner of the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. Unfaithful husbands are great for the brothel business, but most voters are looking for something different. In public life, America doesn't like adulterous hypocrites, or at least it pretends it doesn't. We prefer our leaders to be stamped with the good housekeeping seal of approval. Politicians are expected to have longtime spouses and photogenic children they use as campaign props, like so many cardboard cutouts, to be exhibited on demand. The families are required to smile and wave, so this year will be full of photo ops portraying Michelle Obama and her daughters. We're also likely to see a great deal of those photogenic Romneys and the homeschooled Santorums. When they actually speak, family members use extreme caution to avoid saying anything real enough to upset anyone. Instead, they vouch for dear old dad in the blandest possible terms, certifying him as a loyal husband and father. This is supposed to reassure the electorate about his character. But efforts to sugarcoat the reality of family life can backfire. Ann Romney was ridiculed for telling Massachusetts voters that she and Mitt never had a serious argument. If you're trying to convince people that your husband of 42 years isn't really a robot, portraying him as a Stepford husband isn't necessarily the best strategy. But the real question is, why do the voters still allow themselves to be fooled by this charade? The exploitation of wives and kids may be a time-honored political tradition, but these symbols are often spectacularly at odds with the truth. Recent political history is full of examples of fraudulent spousal testimonials. Your favorite candidate may be a faithful husband and a devoted father. He may also be a lying dirtball who's deceiving everyone. But that doesn't mean his wife has caught on yet, or even that she would tell you if she had. And even when women discover hurtful secrets, many lie to protect their husbands. Others lie to themselves to protect their families and their way of life. How any woman handles such betrayal is her own private business, unless she's letting herself be used to trick the electorate, in which case her choices raise legitimate public issues. Politicians won't stop exploiting their families as long as that helps them win votes. But isn't it time for the rest of us to decide we're tired of being conned? No matter how convincingly a candidate and his wife smile for the cameras, you can't divine the truth about his character from his campaign ads. And when it comes to political fairy tales, too many of those pretty pictures conceal secrets that mean no one lives happily ever after.